All right, here we go. Dorothy's been dreaming about this moment, about being here. I have. <laughs> really, I mean, I dream I had a picture just like this. Really? Yeah. Is this the way you thought it would look, huh? Yeah, but I didn't think I'd be this nervous. Yeah, you know, I thought I was real cool, you know, like yeah. a star. Yeah. But in my dream. All right, take a deep breath. See, okay. now you're calm. I'm calm now. Okay. Here we go, Dorothy. Going to have a chance at over $5,000 here. Now, you know, we polled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Blank buck. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 to you if you match it. Second most frequent response, $250 if you match that. The third, $100 if you match that. Uh, you're allowed to solicit a little help from our celebrities, so let's uh, choose three, one at a time. Okay, I'm Richard Dawson. She wants you, Richard. <laughs> okay, pass the buck. Pass the buck is his contribution. Um, and Charles? Charles Nelson Riley. Frank. Frank Buck. Right. All right. It's a name out of the past, folks, but it's all right. <laughs> Charles is out of the I past. <laughs> okay. And, uh, Brett? Well, the only other thing I can think of is Old Buck. No offense, Charles. Old Buck. Old Buck. Old Buck. All right. Now, you've got Old Buck, Frank Buck, and Pass the Buck. You may choose one of those, Dorothy, or think up an answer of your own and make that the answer. What would you like to do? I can't think of anything, uh, because I'm not good at that. I'll, I'll do pass the buck. You're not good at yeah. thinking? Right. Mm -hmm. Pass the buck. Pass the buck. She's looking for audience approval. The audience approves. So that's the one we're looking for, pass the buck. Let's all find out where it is now, if it is indeed up there anywhere. First, may we see the $100 response. Saw buck. That's a well-known phrase, but you know, saw buck, you know, means a $10 bill. Good answer. Where are you, Dorothy? Oh, there you are. I'm here. I didn't leave. Okay. We're still looking for past the buck. May we see the $250 response? Fast buck. I'm going to be there. Well, now, wait a minute. Don't cry. It may be there. You never know where it is. Yes, it is, dear. Don't worry. I promise you. And you think it's up there? Past the buck? We'll find out right now. May we see the $500 response? Past the buck. You got it. Terrific! <laughs> That's grand. Congratulations. I was really worried. It's a Okay. Oh, this is the biggie. I know. Yeah. I turn around. I'll tell you when to turn around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just face out there. I watch this every day. I know. Don't turn around till I tell you to turn around. Okay. It's my show. Remember that. I, I'm sorry. It's all right. No, I'm only kidding. I know you're excited. You just won $500. And that means you're going to play for 10 times that amount or $5,000. But okay. to collect the money, you've got to match one celebrity on a head-to-head -head basis. And it has to be exact. Are you ready? Richard Dawson. Oh, yeah. He's ready. <laughs> All right, Richard, you get ready right now. You face me. Okay. That's it. You have been watching every day. And here is the $5,000 question. Blank barrel. B-A-R-R-E-L. Blank barrel. Okay, Richard is finished, and now Dorothy Zinni, for $5,000, may we have your answer. Oh, this is really going to be bad. I can't think of anything except wooden barrel. Wooden barrel is your answer. Yeah. Okay, Richard, for $5,000, may we see your answer. Blank barrel. Beer. Beer barrel, that is good. I wish I thought of that. Yeah. That's a good answer. Oh, no, it was... No, Beer Barrel was a good answer. <laughs> your, an was your answer was rotten. <laughs> really? Was it rotten? No. Wooden Barrel is not a bad answer. It's a thing, you know, I've never... You know, Wooden Barrel, you see them every day. That's, the, yeah. That's right. I thought that. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, you're still the champ, Dorothy. I know, I still won. Yeah. I mean, you got 600 bucks. I know. You know that's terrific. I know it is. Yeah. And you're, you're going to meet another player? Okay, I'm ready. You meet... Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. If she's ready, we might as well press on. Huh? I mean, if she says she's ready, let's do it. Here comes Kathy Edwards there. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. You know Dorothy. Thank you. She's very happy about winning the money. I know. Are you I'm happy, happy to be here, Kathy? Very happy. Good. Yes. You want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. I'm an airline hostess, and I model professionally on my days off, and I'm single. Oh, 
All right. Kathy's trying to tell us something. In fact, she has told us something. So just get in line because you're a very pretty lady. You, you know how to play this game, and oh, you know yes, the challenger makes a selection, so I'll push the button and reveal the two questions for you, Kathy. All right, I'll take A, please. Kathy wants A. Good luck to both ladies. We've got a new game, folks, and everybody plays. Are you ready to play? Sure. Of course. All right. <laughs> Nero lost his fiddle. So while Rome burned, he played with his blank. <laughs> All right, now let's be serious, folks. Got a lot of money involved here. <laughs> Big money at stake. <laughs> and Nero's blank is at stake there. Charles, what are you doing there? I'm avoiding the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sometimes it's difficult, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> Kathy, they're all finished writing. Nero lost his fiddle, so while Rome burned, he played with his... Nose. He played with his nose. <laughs> uh, you know how Nero was. He really was an uncouth fellow, wasn't he, Larry? I, I, I never uh, read anything about him. Uh, I didn't say nose. I said toga. He played with his toga. No. Just adjusted it and did all those well, things. Well, I tried to huh? think, what would I do? Yeah, oh, I said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what would you do? He played with his toga. <laughs> right. All right, Brett, what do you say? Uh, Wooden Barrel is a rotten ah, ass. Yeah. <laughs> but she is the cutest thing that has come down. Oh, the she pike really since. is. She's a uh, marvelous contestant. She, to, uh, I said, uh, you said fiddle. Yeah. I said bow. He the played bow. with his bow. Uh, he had the bow. The fiddle was gone, but he played with the bow. Okay, her answer slowly fades into the <laughs> past. Well, child. obviously, I've been missing out on something. Oh, no, I, no, that's, I'm sorry. No, he played with his dog named Athens. He had a dog named Athens. <laughs> okay. I thought I had a Yippee, you forgot oh, your yeah. answer already. Yes. Hey, Patty, what does yes. it say there? Well, it's a little known fact that um, Nero also played the accordion. Oh. No. <laughs> An ancient Roman accordion. Sure. They're hard to come by, you know. <laughs> All right, Richard. Yes, I happen to know he played with his toga and got arrested for overexposure. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay, Better another toga under. came up there. Madeline, what do you say? I thought he played with his wife. Oh. You did? Anything you say. It was a hot time in the old town that night, wasn't it, Dan? Okay, you didn't score at all, Kathy. Now, uh, oh, we've got to pause for a second here, Dorothy, before we get to your question. I'll just stick it in my pocket, and I'll save it there until you come back. I promise I won't look at it.